The high school sports schedule enters week five tonight. Still no Lahaina Luna games have been played yet as the school remains closed following the wildfires. But they are slated to begin competing again on September the 30th. To assist with that, many local organizations and celebrities are joining forces to make sure the players have everything they need to compete. Joining me now is Downtown Athletic Club of Hawaii President Keith Amamiya, who's launching the Luna Strong fundraising campaign. Aloha and good morning to you, Keith. Good morning, Sam. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for what you're doing, putting all this together for the kids of Lahaina Luna. What are you folks looking to do with this campaign? Well, first, I want to acknowledge that many people across the state and beyond have already helped with the Maui relief efforts. But when the Lahaina Luna Athletic Director asked us to help the 450 student athletes and 40 coaches, who lost their homes and all their belongings in the fire, uh, we wanted to step up. Uh, one of the critical needs for the student athletes is they lost all of their sports equipment. Uh, so even though they may want to work out and practice, they don't have it. And so uh, the Downtown Athletic Club decided to join forces with a lot of companies and, and professional athletes and others to step up and help them out. Yeah, it's really great. $325,000 raised so far. And some of the celebrities include Marcus Mariota and Shane Victorino. What, what are some of the resources that they're offering? Well, Marcus is pledged to help the football team with football cleats and other equipment. Shane, of course, is a baseball guy, so he's committed to help the baseball and softball programs. Mark Rolfing has uh, pledged to help with the boys and girls golf teams uh, at Lahaina Luna. And Nike and the Iolani Classic have pledged to help the uh, boys and girls basketball teams. I should also add that besides the 325,000 raised, we've had a lot of companies step up like Hawaiian Airlines, Pagoda Hotel, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, and Zippy. So it's truly a team effort and, and I'm grateful for the support. Team effort, well said right there. As far as the kids themselves, what do you think this will do to, to get the kids back into sports? I actually talked to a Lahaina firefighter when I was out on Maui a couple weeks ago, and she said, you know, we need to get these kids back to a sense of normalcy, and sports is a big part of that, giving them a goal to achieve. What do you think this will do for them? Well, you know, you played high school sports, Sam, so did I, and we know how important it was for us as part of our high school experience. So I can't imagine what these student athletes are going through, having lost everything, having uh, lost the ability to pursue their passion. So this is just one way we're helping out by providing them with the needed sports equipment and supplies. And speaking of helping out, there's a lot of folks that are watching right now that I'm sure are going to want to assist themselves. How can folks at home help out? Well, you can donate online at downtownathleticclubhawaii.org. Uh, it's easy, uh, just a one click uh, to get to the donation page and um, all the information is set out there as to what we're trying to raise, who's helping out, and how you can help. And you folks also have some t-shirts in the works as well, correct? Yes, uh, we have Luna Strong t-shirts that are also available online at the Downtown Athletic Club Hawaii.org website. It's been designed by Sadine Ota of Wailuku, uh, proud Maui resident and supporter of high school athletics. And it's a beautiful design. The Luna athletes have seen it. They love it. And we're excited to share it with everyone. Yeah, the Luna's opening up practice tonight for football. Excited for them to get back onto the field. The Red Tide from the West Side, as our friend from the Maui News, Rob Colius, calls them. Almost like a kahuku of, of Maui. So much pride for that school. So excited to get them back out there. Yes, that's a very apt comparison. A small town, close-knit, passionate, same school colors, and they're very successful. All right, thank you so much, Keith, for what you're doing with this and everything you do with the Downtown Athletic Club of Hawaii. Thank you, Sam. Thanks for joining us. All right, folks, we'll have more info on that on KHON2.com. And don't forget, Season 11 of Cover 2 Hawaii High School Football Weekly kicks off tonight. You can catch Rob DeMello and the crew at 930 on KHON2.